What was the turning point in your life? Uh, growing up, I was a, a swimmer, learning how to swim, and eventually when I was 13, 14, I started competitive swimming. I ended up going to nationals in 20, 2019 and then continued to grow and strengthen myself to have a successful season in 2020. That was when COVID-19 hit and one week before I was supposed to fly out to Adelaide, it got cancelled. So when I was at the peak of my performance, I unfortunately did not go to nationals. And because we're in lockdown for about six months, I didn't have a pool to train. So I had to do physical land-based exercises and I lost all my uh, fitness. So for the next season, I didn't get to perform as well as I wanted to. That was a turning point for me. This weekend I went on my annual calisthenics dance camp with my club and I am so exhausted but had the absolute best time and thought I would show some footage as I talk about some interesting things about the reading this week that I want to take into as I start filming my video portrait. A key point that I noted is to aim to elicit feelings, as often interviewees might answer your questions with objective facts or quite general answers. To avoid this, it's really important to evoke feelings within the interviewee through asking them stories that can bring back vivid emotions and memories and make their responses more in depth and more emotionally arousing. This really stood out to me because it helped me realize that a question can sometimes only provide you with quite a surface level answer, whereas asking them to retell a story and how that impacted them can produce more feelings and in return create more exciting and interesting answers. My second key takeaway was the importance of silence and how this can be one of the most powerful tools in getting a good response in an interview. As after an interviewee answers a question and they pause in silence and they seem like they're holding something back, it's really great to just linger in this moment and encourage them to expand on that idea that they might be thinking about to attain a more raw and deeper level response. With this information, I intend to trust and just wait out the silence when I'm interviewing someone because it can be edited out anyway and you can get such great responses from it. 